So uh, let's start preparing the scene and the first thing I like to do is to check the unit setup. We are working at centimeters. So um, the first thing I like to do is to check uh, to create, uh, let's say the logo. So we create a circle and the radius will be 55 centimeters. So that's our main stuff for the logo. Let's do adaptive for the interpolation to have a better curve. And let's create also a text. And let's say that the name is uh, maybe, let's say, Sparks. And then we'll uh, create also another text. So let's say that we have this one there and we'll try to use um, something that can be visible also on your uh, workstation so uh, we can use maybe directly uh, the uh, higher bold and let's try just to have a little bit more space let's see if it is a little bit more little mm -hmm. and then we'll create another text and this one will be the number uh, four let's say sparks four and we'll use no italic and let's say that this one stays there so that's the main logo we are using so uh, let's continue and uh, the sphere uh, we'll have maybe just a little bit of uh, some different area but before I like to create also um, a curve and let's say that we have maybe let's do a copy and let's go at full screen there Right mouse button, convert to editable spline. Let's work with the segments. And I like to remove these segments. And maybe we can create some new vertices. So let's say maybe uh, a refine there. And let's say uh, that we'll have a refine there. Then back to the uh, segments and we can remove this one and this one then we can create uh, some more curve let's say that we are not starting a new shape and let's say that from there we are creating something like that obviously later will fix the shape okay so uh, back there let's pick those two vertices and we go there to use the fuse and weld and the same there but before we move those vertices and then back there fuse and weld now we can move the various vertices there and also this one let's say that we change a little bit the shape Okay, something like that. Maybe we can tune a little bit there the curve. Okay, that is better than before. So uh, let's say uh, circle white and this one is circle purple. Nice. Um, Let's go in the 3D viewport 
and we'll use the uh, let's say the bevel so we'll have the first one it will be not so much because I like to have uh, a bi-dimensional look so you see just a little bit for the outline then we select the other spline and we use again the bevel and you see that actually we have the same level um, if we use there for example uh, 6 and there 6 obviously it is a little bit bigger so this one can be uh, let's say white and this one can be purple so we have a reference for what we are doing let's see in shaded mode also from this point of view okay nice so uh, then another thing we have to do is to use this one and this one too will be uh, maybe tridimensional using the oh sorry uh, the bevel but it will be really lower so let's go there and let's say that we have maybe one centimeter for this one and let's try with minus eight so it will be a little bit more tridimensional okay uh, let's go to the number four we use again the bevel but this one will be more tridimensional so let's say five and we'll use there maybe let's try we minus one five and there we can try also with a bigger scale okay so you see it's more tridimensional than the other one and let's move it there nice okay so so let's start creating also some lighting and some material and we'll use V-Ray to uh, work on the scene, but obviously you can do the same thing using Mentor Ray or I-Ray or whatever else. Uh, let's create a camera. We'll have a free camera. Uh, let's use a camera using the C key over the viewport. And we'll move the camera. Then we can say show save frame. And we'll work to have the HD format. We go for one key. And I like to work a little bit with the scene composition there. So let's say something like that to make something more uh, nicer uh, to be seen. So um, another thing is to start lighting the scene and we can use a V-Ray light and the V-Ray light will be um, a dome we can move it there uh, let's set V-Ray as rendering engine we have no global illumination for the moment let's do some settings so let's use 32 key 24 for the render region and actually we can stay with this parameter uh, let's lower the resolution just to be able to see the staff in the right way okay we need to tune the various parameter we have one there let's go to shaded and we need an hdr map so let's go in the material editor and let's say HDR and uh, we'll use a V-Ray HDR map browse and we go to peak a map coming with 3ds max and uh, let's say that is a spherical map and then there in the map we have to set invisible so we don't see the environment and we can copy there as the texture as instance two key for the resolution spherical full dome so we'll have the complete um, resolution all over 
So you see that's the lighting actually. Uh, let's say that there we have an higher resolution. And let's start preparing the material. So later we can tune the various stuff. And this one will be the purple. And we'll use a V-ray material, but we'll use really simple material. So you, you can do the same thing using uh, the other shader if you are using another rendering engine. Let's go for a purple color. We can assign. We go for a freshening reflection. It will be high reflective. And just a little bit of reflection glossiness and let's use 16 subdivision and for the moment we stay with this value and maybe we can just use 2.5 for the uh, reflection then let's do the white we use a similar color but we call it uh, a similar material I mean and this one will be completely white Let's see. Okay, that's how it looks. And maybe we can go a little bit higher with the glossiness just to have more precise uh, reflection. So then let's use the same white for the four. And for the sparks, uh, for the moment, uh, let's see to use maybe uh, let's go there let's see text we can assign it and we have to find a nice looking color let's do some testings and let's try to have the reflection also there but this time we'll have a really low reflection glossiness. So now we can pick again the dumb light and let's start to try having more lighting inside the scene that is still low. Let's go to 4. And we are starting to have a nice looking, maybe try with four five okay nice I like to change a little bit the scaling for uh, the text so let's select both and we can create a group text logo and we can create an X4 modifier then we pick the gizmo and we start scaling just to have something more interesting okay nice so uh, now we need to have uh, a nice looking background and to create the background we can create everything in compositing so for the moment we can try to have just uh, this stuff or maybe if we like we can create uh, an environment in 3D it depends on what we are trying to do so let's imagine that we like to have an environment to have the environment we can do something like that and we pick the lighting and this light will exclude this one so actually if we go to render we have obviously a dark environment now we can pick this one and right mouse button object properties and let's say visible to reflection and refraction receive shadows and cast shadows everything will be removed so in this case it will be not visible inside the reflection then let's go back there and let's say that we create another 
material, this one is environment, and we can assign it. Uh, this material can be done using, for example, a gradient. Uh, let's go to a gradient ramp. Let's make it visible. And let's try to use something else. For example, the radial one. And we go for, let's say, maybe something more. Let's see, this color would be like this. And then another color can be, for example, this one. Let's move to have you see this coloring. And let's try to see what we have. Obviously, it is not visible. So, this one. Let's try with the self illumination. Okay. So, you see, that's our hactyl environment. Obviously, we'll put something more in uh, compositing later. But at this point, I think that the parts there can be black and it will be more reflective. And let's see how it looks. Let's go back to a uh, lower reflection. Okay something like that okay let's say that this one can be nice so we save so in this case let's imagine that this one is our logo uh, if we go to render at the higher resolution uh, obviously we have to tweak also the various parameters so and this is a simple render, but to obtain a better look, we can try to have the um, Mitchell Neutrality and we go for 110. And let's say that there we have 32 and 2. Nothing so, uh, so complex. So uh, that's the, uh, the rendering. And obviously we have to prepare the uh, preliminary compositing to have a better result but it works on this project using this look actually so uh, let's move to the next step preparing the uh, basic compositing project